to another video. In this video, we are going to take a look how we can create our animation blueprint and our blender space. So, in the previous video, we set up our first person camera, as you can see. And we also fix some bugs, including the camera going through the mannequin body. We fix that. And yeah, let's get started. But uh, before we start, we have a problem. Because when, when I rotate my mouse, my character doesn't move along the mouse doesn't move along the view so let's fix this actually it's a simple it is a simple uh, fix so if I if I open my character choose the third person character just uncheck the use control rotation yaw and hit compile and there we go change my camera and my, my character turn around and yeah so let's retarget our characters open mannequin folder character mesh skeleton and the in the skeleton tab on the select rig select humanoid rig and save also we need to by the way the, in the previous video we add these two files anime starter pack and fps weapon bundle and open anime anime starter pack folder uv4 mannequin mesh skeletal mesh and uh, select humanoid rig for this one close all of all of the tabs and select the anime starter pack Mannequin, right click on the. Now we can see retarget to another skeleton. Choose our skeleton. Just make sure this is the right skeleton. You can see the path. And if it's if it was right, click on the retarget. Engine will automatically retarget our all animation to other skeleton it may take some time but uh, after the engine retarget everything will automatically save so now we have all the animation from this mannequin to this mannequin so let's uh, set up our our aim blender space right click animation blender space we have a lot of skeleton here make sure you guys use the right skeleton the right skeleton will be on the path game slash and uh, i mean yeah the game slash uh, mannequin slash character slash mesh choose this one Rename it. I'm gonna call it Aim BS. Open the blender space. If you are not familiar with this, uh, with the blender space, blender space is a uh, kind of blend our blend a few animation for us, like jump forward, like move forward, move backward, move right, move left. This is the this is the what uh, blender space do yeah so let me let me fix this uh, axis we have two options here vertical axis and horizontal axis our horizontal axis will be direction and the vertical uh, axis will be our speed there we go and maximum axis value for the vertical axis will be 6000 i mean 600 i'm sorry 600 and the minimum axis value would be minus 180 and the maximum axis value would be 
180. And yeah, this is uh, this is our when our speed is zero is equal to zero when our character is idle. I'm gonna choose uh, idle iron side. You have to put idle iron side in the whole section, the bottom of every column. Now we have our idle. When our character speed is equal to zero, our character is going to be idle. When, if I hold shift and drag my drag my mouse, and yeah, you can see the speed is one hundred and forty six. In this speed, my in this column, I'm going to put. Uh, walk forward this is going to be my walk forward my walk left and my walk right is going to be right and the, my walk left is going to be left but uh, you can see there is not a little, uh, really difference because we're looking to our player in front I switch back to player back now we moving to right and we moving to left this is this is kind of buggy I don't know why uh, but uh, we have also two columns left let me search for sprint there's a sprint and let me find this not uh, sprint forward rifle and also we need our walk backward walk backward will be i'm gonna place this one right here and also right here because we always want to animation backward play if i turn left on the lt and turn right in the righty I'm going to say always play the backward and there we go but uh, let me let me choose the sprint for your sprint oh yeah put a, um, a sprint on this all of these columns um hit save now we're ready to go now we need to tell our engine when play this animation when this finish uh, this animation must be played so let me first of all i'm going to open mannequin card mannequin folder animation action blueprint now we have a lot of stuff going right here just click on the default this is our default uh, I mean this is our default animation blueprint our default uh, anim graph for state machine so let me drag this one a little bit down make some room for my new blender space and drag the anim BS that we create earlier into the anim graph and hook this one and, yeah. so uh, we need a, a two transition rule because engine must know when play this animation so let me first uh, open event graph search for calculate 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 direction we need to calculate our direction for this character. We have speed, but we haven't calculate our direction. So, you mean, you see, there is, uh, we need to connect two things. Base rotation and velocity. We, are, we already have the velocity, connect this one. Uh, also, we need to uh, rotation, get uh, actor. Is the get actor yeah get actor rotation and hook this up to the base rotation 
promote this one to a variable. I'm gonna call it direction. Hook this up to this uh, bar. And also, we need to we need to search for event uh, begin play. On the animation event begin play, I'm going to say cast to third person character. Cast to your character. Mine is third person character. If you have to you rename your character, just cast your character. And object will be try get pawn owner. Have this try get pawn owner right here. And I'm gonna promote this to a variable. Oh, it is wrong. <laughs> Just to third person character. Just to third person any BP. Let me connect this one. Promote this one to a variable, and there we go. Now we. Uh, we have our character reference can use it everywhere we want so let me implement a two variable in the character open your third person character i'm going to select one on my keyboard one and out of the press i'm going to create a new variable call it enter I'm going to set this one to a true and on out of relays I'm going to back it to false and hit compile now let me drag my character right here my character reference and convert it to a valuable validated get focus this one as third person character, uh, this uh, check if my character is valid, I will, if my character valid, I'm going to run something. If it is not valid, I'm going, this is going to be run something else. So let me, out of uh, as a third person character, I'm going to get into our aim. We need to get our variable and promote this one to a variable and hook this up and on the default on the idle run to any I'm going to say if my enter any is uh, true you you have to go to this nmbs and if this value valuable is not true it's not true we're going to yeah to make it false and turn back to our main idol idol animation so let's see what we create now if i press one on my keyboard okay uh, we made something wrong let me tell you how we can fix it. On the third person character, hold Alt and click on the line. I'm going to search for a new flip flop. Connect this one and connect this one. Now, if I play, now we have our uh, our aim. Blend the space. What? Look what we done. My character doesn't move and doesn't play the animation. So let me fix this one. Let me choose. Let me open the blend the space. Connect the speed and also connect the direction. And hit compile. And we. Oh. Okay. My character is running because my max walk speed is something like 600, but my walking speed is 140. Uh, I changed the max walk speed. See, we got our 
normal blender space but as you can see we got some lag or snapping let me fix this one and on the character on the character movement the character movement I'll scroll down till you found character movement orient uh, rotation setting on the orient rotating to movement uncheck this one it's compiled now our lag and snapping is gone um i hope this is uh, let me fix the camera a little bit mm -hmm. oh uh, yeah pause the names and click on the camera because i'm gonna make it a little bit upper move it a little bit to up because and now we have our hand and um, i think that's it for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful if you did don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more unreal engine tutorial and i see you in the next one bye